From Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. Las Vegas, we are just, what, 10 minutes away from being able to go ahead and call this Friday for us? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk News Now. We have with us Jonathan Gorst, our entertainment enthusiast, professional, commentary, what if, Guru. Guru. Who, tell, who tells like us what guru. to do on the weekend. There you tells go. us what to do on the weekend. Oh, yeah. By the way, I just want to say, Jonathan, your show. Yes. It's uh, uh, Bonnie Springs. Mm-hmm. Name of the show? The Bodies Old West Musical Review. Right. Yeah, is right. also going to be joining us, myself, Ella, the rest of the Let's Talk News Now gang. Yes. I and Mark Giovi, who was just on just a few moments mm-hmm. ago, at the Senior Spectacular, which is being handled by the Vegas Voice. I'm going to start doing it over here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there it is. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. There you go. White, that'll be right? a, uh, and that's going to be at Gold Coast on the 11th, 11th. Uh, ooh, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you want to make sure that we're all there. And you're going right. to find all kinds of great information here in the Vegas Voice. Lots of things to do. Lots in that of one. things going on. Yeah. You might even see a picture of us in it. I'm Wouldn't looking that be forward kind of to that. We're getting yeah. around. Be, yeah, I'll get tell on. you what. Yeah. Need you to be in a newspaper. You know, that's we, good. Yay! <laughs> I dream. Come just true. Just as long as in the correct sections. That's, that's all right. I care yeah, about. <laughs> Police beat. Yeah. All right, there we go. Um, <laughs> where pop goes my fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> You can tell it's Friday. We're down to down to the last few minutes of the show. Friday. People, the rest of the people, they're just getting up and they're having to get ready to go to work. We're just concluding ours. We're finishing. But Thank Jonathan, goodness. tell me what is going on in and around Las Vegas, up and down the strip, with all the entertainment locations. Well, we're still, you know, running the the good big shows are are going along strong. Surf opened official opening night was, you know, just a few few days ago, on the seventeenth. So Yay. that's going along and uh, open to the public. And I think, uh, you know, a real fun thing to do that doesn't cost any money. I really like going through this whole carnival thing at the Venetian and Palazzo. You know, they have, you can go through that mall between the Palazzo and the Venetian. There's a stage set up and they'll have, they'll have people on stilts walking around. They'll be doing juggling acts. And then there's, there's some great vocal groups going on there. They've got this great vocal trio going on. It's kind of in the evenings on the weekdays. They're doing all kinds of great Italian music, you know, the Volare and, and all the, the great standards and great vocal group. Fantastic. Good sound, so and it costs nothing. And it's just it's just down what, the road. What, what, what are the acoustics in there? They have done a great job with the sound. You know, there's a big open marble room, and it's two stories high, and they've got the waterfall going behind it. But I, I'm standing about 50 feet from that stage. I can hear it crystal clear. So yeah. I want to buy those speakers. Is what I want <laughs> <laughs> for the house, right? That's right. Just, just wait a couple of years, and they'll be giving. That's right. Yeah. We'll take them off their hands. <laughs> Uh, also, this weekend at the Smith Center, Clint Holmes makes Ooh. another appearance. He's on He's Friday, awesome. Saturday, Sunday, so yeah. so he'll be on tonight and all weekend. And what a great show! And what a great Vegas entertainer, somebody that's ours and yeah. somebody who does such right. great things for this city. He's an awesome talent. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, he just, it, it, he's almost becoming synonymous with uh, Las Vegas. I, I'm Absolutely. starting to put him in yeah. the same category as like Wayne Newton. He's just gonna be like, Absolutely. everybody knows Clint Holmes in Las yep. Vegas. They do, and and they should. He's a great entertainer. His shows are always wonderful, and it's great that the Smith Center is picking him up and using him. So glad they opened basis. the Smith Center here. And it is yeah. such a great thing for us to be able to go to, not on the Strip, just right. uh, take so, off. From something home. legitimately for the locals, entertainment really for local right. people and culture mm-hmm. and developing such things as, mm-hmm. as the Philharmonic here in town. That's right. And some of the great opera singers and so on also exist. Mm-hmm. And that always brings me to an interesting question I'm gonna ask you. Um, I'm, gonna let you I'm gonna have a trade hats for just a moment. Mm-hmm. Having worked with Andrew Lloyd Webber's organization now for nearly 20 years. That's right. Because a lot of people may not recognize you immediately, but you're also the uh, assistant conductor to Phantom and have been for some That's right, time. for here. That's for here, right. in, here in Las, yeah, in Las you, Vegas. Yeah, it's the back of my head that they would recognize. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know that you guy. should make it distinctive. Well, That's right. Different colors. Okay? <laughs> you you shave something in my yeah. head. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> the difference between those performers who do a show such as Phantom mm-hmm. and then those who would refer to themselves as being opera singers yes one person that comes to mind Craig Schulman who was a fabulous Jean Valjean in Les Mis and talented talented tenor played Don Jose in Carmen you okay. know 
a couple months so, later. And so there is a crossover. So there is that crossover. I mean, they are definitely American musical theater, and we include our friends from London because it's so related, you know, and most shows go there first anyway. <laughs> but uh, the, the relationship is that musical theater is really one of our art forms, and it's, it's truly American. It's truly something that you know, comes from here, at least in the, the practices of the Gershwins and Cole Porter and all of those things, and, and it's carried out in those traditions. Whereas opera, you know, is a little bit more European, comes over here imported, and we've definitely had great operatic composers, but, but the stage, the theater stage, really speaks in America on the musical theater stage, I think. Absolutely fantastic. That's the Are thing, we you show? take something oh, somewhere. Give us something, something to do this, give us something to do this weekend. <laughs> Again, like there's never anything to do in Vegas, right? right? Never. I mean, we hope that you have an absolutely fantastic weekend here in Las Vegas or wherever your destination is, but make sure that your destination brings you back here come Monday morning at 6 a.m. on Let's Talk News Now. Yay. Have a good weekend, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. But then back to reality, it is Monday.